TitleMatchNetwork.com. This is your main event for this evening. It is no time limit. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is scheduled for... It is main event time here tonight. Flawless Wrestling, Black Harvest, the sequel. The final match here at this two-day expo at Sevierville, Tennessee. And it does not get bigger than this. The biggest match of young Kylie Alexa's career. The NWA Women's Tag Team Champion really getting put to the test here tonight. Really gonna have to test her metal, test her skills against one of the very best in the world, Tessa Blanchard. You know, Carmen, on a regular basis, I find myself saying this sentence to you whenever we're calling the action. We are spoiled as broadcasters. We get to call some amazing matchups all over this beautiful country, but what a main event tonight in between Tessa Blanchard and Kylie Alexa. I've been looking forward to this all weekend. I think of all the matches that were advertised, this is the one that I've wanted to see the most. Well, you can tell the fans here in attendance, Sevierville, Tennessee, have been looking forward to this, but Tessa Blanchard with a little bit of a reality check here. Uh, <laughs> well, she's slowing Not, down the momentum. Whenever, we, whenever we've talked about Pretty Empowered all night, because this is very much, this show has been built in Pretty Empowered's image, the momentum has always been on their side, and Tessa is trying to halt that momentum right now. It's amazing to me that just 24 hours ago, just here in the same building, it's like the crowd worshiped the ground that Tessa Blanchard walked on. She could not do any wrong in the ring against Dylan McQueen at KFW. But here at Black Harvest against Kylie Alexa, she is in dangerous territory because this crowd loves Kylie Alexa. This is her home turf. Well, and, and I, she's very well aware of that. Tessa Blanchard, a veteran of this industry for a very long time, grew up in the wrestling business. Of course, her father, the great Tully Blanchard, one of the best to ever do it. She knows she's not going to come here and win a battle of cheers with Kylie Alexa. But to your point, though, think about the parallel paths these two careers have taken. Both of these competitors, second generation athletes. Of course, as you mentioned, Tessa Blanchard, the daughter of Tolly Blanchard, the stepdaughter to Magnum TA, Kylie Alexa, a member of the Henry family, obviously the owners here at KFW now taking over the NWA at large. Hell, Tommy Henry could in just a couple of months very well be our new NWA women's champion. Who knows? What a wild timeline we live in. But Kylie Alexa growing up in the business, this is all she has ever known. Rob, she is just a year and a half in this business. Tonight marks her 90th match already. Just a year and a half in the business. Think about that. Started in May 2022. It is now October of 2023. Folks, How that means that she that? has worked every single week and then some. That is what that means. And we have talked about this one thing. And, and, and obviously at the top of this, you know, I just mentioned the experience edge that Tessa Blanchard has going into this match. But something that we say quite a lot the tenacity. Landing those shots into the top of the head of Kylie. Kylie has the experience of somebody who's been doing this five times as long as she has at least. What's well, the hard work she's been putting in? Obviously, you see the fruits of her labor, the youngest champion in NWA history. You know, now the KFW tag team champion we saw last night. I mean, and the she's... daughter of Tommy Henry, the niece of Isaac King, she basically grew up in this ring. She's got a chance to shake the foundation of women's wrestling here tonight if she can knock off the queen pin of the undeniable Tessa Blanchard. Quick roll up. But with that, Tessa Blanchard has something to prove here, looking to hold down the fort, so to say. Well, and look, and Kylie, as we said, the youngest champion in NWA history. She is right now a double tag team champion, not only holding the NWA Women's Tag Team Championships, but just picking up the KFW Tag Team Championship. But there is something 
that she has not done in her young career. She has not held a men's heavyweight exactly. title. Tessa to, Blanchard, the first one to ever do that. To your point, when you brought up championships, it had my mind going, you want to talk about championships. Tessa Blanchard has held them off. Former champion, obviously Impact World Champion. She's been a Reina de Reina's champion in AAA, held the Warrior Championship, PCW Ultra. How many titles has Tessa Blanchard held in her young career? Yes, that's the answer, yes. <laughs> yes. She's held, she's held everyone that she at, has set her eyes on. That is how many she's held. At 28 years old, already regarded as one of the greatest women's wrestlers to ever do it. Now mixing it up in the ring, Kylie Alexa, only 19. The young prodigy has a lot to prove tonight with a tilt-a-whirl head scissors. And she usually likes to transition that directly into the crossface. Tessa, though, had it scouted. Notice rolled to the outside of the ring immediately. I, I think this is going to be nice. the beginning of something we're going to see a lot in this match, and that is going to be the fact that great minds think alike. Off the ropes. But also, we talk about Tessa having that scouted. Tessa has been around Kylie since she was a young girl. Yes. Tessa's been integral to the history of KFW here in Sevierville, Tennessee for years now. Not just facing off against Kenzie Page, tag teaming with Kenzie Page right here, this very building. And it's really those battles with Tessa Blanchard that made Kenzie grow and now an opportunity for her younger sister to do the same in the same building. Absolutely, and we've talked about how, you know, Kenzie, or, or Kylie, very much wise beyond her years, growing up in this business, the daughter of Tommy Henry, growing up in a wrestling ring. And that fact right there means that even though she's only been wrestling for a year and a half, she wrestles like somebody who's been wrestling for 10 years. Tessa Blanchard has a very similar story, has taken a very similar path. The daughter of Tully, the stepdaughter of Magnum TA. So what is her decade's worth of experience actually? 30 years? <laughs> it feels like it. As Tessa now bringing the fight to the outside to Kylie Alexa. You know, and another thing, another big comparison, we have Good called God. several times whenever we're calling Kylie Alexa matches, we've called her a monster slayer. She's defeated so many opponents bigger than her. Sawyer Wreck, Alice Crowley, Max the Impaler. Look at, look no further than the man that Tessa Blanchard beat to become the Impact World Heavyweight Champion in exactly. Sammy Callahan, one of the nastiest sons of bitches in this entire business. Tessa has seen things that would make Kylie squirm. Well, Kylie getting a little nasty right here, and of course we know Kylie, no stranger to battles. We saw that bloody battle at GCW versus New South 2, where Kylie and Kinsey battled off against Sawyer Rett and Rena Yamashita, one of the bloodiest fights I've ever seen. And while Kenzie and Kylie were very impressive, and there's something that's very different between... Oh! Ooh, right over the guardrail. Something that's very different between Kylie and Tessa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Kylie Tessa. did not win that match. Tessa has a point to prove here. Clearing out the fans. Getting a little uncomfortable here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stay over there, guys. Stay over there. We don't want none of this. Whoa, Tessa Blanchard. We might have a lawsuit on our hands. Uh, whoa. Oh. Piling the chairs on. These Refer chairs do not fold. Oh, my goodness. Referee Celeste going to let this go on. Who's, who's going to stop her? Tessa Blanchard not making any friends here in Sevierville. That is the last thing on the mind of Tessa Blanchard. That is not anything that she's worried about. She is just worried about dismantling the young Kylie Alexa, doing a pretty good job so far. Against the wall, Kylie helpless. Oh, oh my God! Did you hear that? Oh no! That sickening thud. Now Kylie now with the reversal. Fired up, bringing the fight back to Tessa. How the hell is Kylie this fired up, let alone still standing after that? Yeah, no kidding. Tripping over the chairs. But look at this. Look at the intensity. Look at the passion of young Kylie Alexa here. She has something to prove, Rob. She has everything to prove right now. She's dragging Tessa back to the ring. She has to keep her in that ring if she has any chance of winning. Tessa now crawling, scratching to create some distance. I'm not sure if, 
Oh, I was about to say, I'm not sure if she expected that, but it looks like she had it scouted. Bringing the attack right to Kylie. Look at that. You notice the way she grabbed her wrist when she first got in the ring to stop the attack. And now this is all Tessa Blanchard once again. And the sign of disrespect. Showing nothing to dis but disrespect to a person who has not yet earned the respect of Tessa Blanchard. And I think that more than anything, that is what all of this is about. She does not believe that Kylie has earned the respect to carry the accolades that she does so early Looking in her to career. to put it through the ringer. Misses with that back elbow, and that could have been lights out for young Kylie Alexa. So much to prove here on this night in our main event a flawless wrestling, the biggest match of Kylie's career. Can she pull off what some would call the upset over Tessa Blanchard? Can she do it? If this momentum can stay on her side, I believe she very much can, but she might be taking too much time. Charges in, connects, sweeps the leg. Dangerous position, Rob. We've seen this time and time again. Looking to take her head off. She hit it, yes she does! Right to the sternum. Tesla wisely, hold on, cover made, cover made. <laughs> as close as it gets, the referee was fingertips away from that canvas. But did you notice the way Tessa leaned forward? She knew that drop kick was coming right for her head. Excellent wherewithal from Tessa. The veteran here in the match now on the shoulders. What does she have in mind for Kylie? Kylie bringing the fight still. Oh, Tessa might be falls out. into it. Falls into it. Lucky. Ooh. If Kylie would have been able to hook the leg, that very well could have been it. But Kylie just as dazed as Tessa was. I'm not sure if Kylie even knew where she was, Rob. She fell right into that one. Kylie now pounding the chest. Feeling the energy here in the room. Looking to pull the strength from within to continue this fight. Tessa Blanchard, pull, oh. About to say in prime position for another drop kick. Kylie with a splash and now gonna bring Tessa Blanchard up to the top turnbuckle. Dangerous God. position here for Tessa. Listen to how fired up this crowd is. They have been well, like this all night, well, especially in this match. Well, think about it. This crowd here in Sevierville, Tennessee has watched Kylie grow up right before their very eyes. Had her first match right here in this very building in May of last year against her own sister. They have watched her literally since she was a child walking around helping out at concessions helping out with tickets and now here she is in the main event of the biggest match of her career against one of the best in the world oh and one of the oh, best no. in the world biting her forehead doing whatever it takes there's certain things you have to do to get to the top and tessa blanchard certainly in oh hold on cutter that could very well be it. This might be all Blanchard. Leg is hooked. What? That move has won Tessa Blanchard championships, Rob. And Kylie Alexa Look at the had the wherewithal. Tessa. It's becoming very, very real right now. While Kylie has everything to gain, Tessa has everything to lose, and she is seeing it all wash away in front of her eyes right now. So many emotions going on. You see it, for a moment, it was the shock. It was almost that sense of self-doubt and then quickly turned right back to aggression. What do I have to do to put away Kylie Alexa? Going for that hammerlock DDT. Kylie pumping the brakes. Going for the hip attack. Ooh, big kick right to the side of the face. Calling for the kill shot. Got her. And now, Might call for the code Kylie. Can she get it? Can, Can she, she do get it? it? And, and she she's does. got it. This Foot has to be it. Foot on the ropes. Foot on the ropes, Rob. Too close. 
rookie mistake from Kylie Alexa. We do not see many of those from her. Not at all, but whenever you're going against somebody with the pedigree of Tessa Blanchard, you are going to be prone to make mistakes like that, just trying to pull out all the stops. Tessa rolling to the outside. Kylie looking around the ring, asking what she has to do. She's taking a little bit too much time. There needs to be a lot more action and a lot less thinking. Kylie looking to bring the fight now. She has pulls, no choice. It's what she has to do. Pulls Tessa back up to the apron. Whoa, Wait. whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Using the belt. Tessa Blanchard getting herself intentionally disqualified. Would rather take the disqualification loss then risk the public humiliation of suffering a pinfall from Kylie. She saw just how close it was after that code Kylie. If it wasn't for that foot on the bottom rope, I would, I would wager that Kylie Alexa would have won the match right there. Now with the belt again, enough is enough, oh. Tessa. Not how you want the night to end, especially in your main event. Look, and I'm sure that nobody else is thinking of it this way, but if you ask me, that might be the ultimate sign of respect. She was so worried about losing this match to Kylie Alexa that she had no choice but to get herself disqualified to save herself from that ultimate embarrassment. Well, she may not look like the winner, but, but keep in mind, folks, Kylie Alexa stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with Tessa Blanchard on this night, held her own, Definitely has something to be proud about about that. And out comes the rest of Pretty Empowered to check on Kylie. An uncomfortable ending here tonight. Uncomfortable ending, but folks, that is gonna do it for us here tonight at Flawless Wrestling Black Harvest on Title Match Network. On behalf of Rob Weathers, I have been Carmen Michael and we will see you next time. TitleMatchNetwork.com